This is one of the most exciting cars to come out of Mazda since the MX-5 was launched a few years ago. It's a culmination of experience from a design team led by Joost Anuit and a huge amount of research and development for Joachim Kunz and his team to make three new engines and a whole new car from the ground up, a PHEV version and also keeping a diesel option. So welcome along to the Mazda CX-60. This is a brand new car from Mazda, from the ground up. There's nothing related to any other car within the range. They've started something entirely new. They've even brought in three new engines to go with that, and an entirely new diesel engine. Now listen, if you like this kind of video and you want more of this, because I'm in a quite a privileged position of just being two people here and have a look at this car today, you have to hit the subscribe button. And, uh, and follow along for the rest of this. But we're going to cover in detail what Mazda are going to do with the rest of their time here and also all about this new CX-60 which will be in your showrooms later on this year. So while it may seem like a large CX-5, it isn't actually that at all. This is a rear wheel drive car, so they've shifted the cabin of the car all the way back and they've made the front overhang here really short. So the car sits better on its wheels the way you're looking at it right now. This means you get a flatter side, you get more efficient profile. These little lights here in the front, these are all indicators as well. There's so much going on, but yet so little going on on the exterior of this. The drop lines is hard to see in here because of the white background and it's a white car. But the drop lines on this are actually really exaggerated. Now there's different models coming as well. So this one has the, this is the top spec version of it. There is actually ones coming with black. This is all going to be black here in the front, black alloys. There's different grays that are coming into it. But this one, I actually really like. It really looks like a car that has been extended in length. It's far bigger than the CX-5 as well on the interior and the exterior. So it's an entirely new car from a different platform. Before we go any further, let's have a little chat about the engine lineup. As I've said already, Mazda has designed three brand new engines for this car. There's a 2.5 litre E Skyactiv PHEV engine that will come with a 100 kilowatt electric motor and a 17.8 kilowatt hour high capacity lithium ion battery. Rear wheel drive from the outset and then the PHEV part will take over from that. They've also developed a 3 litre E Skyactiv X petrol engine and a 3.3 litre E Skyactiv D diesel engine. These engines are brand new from scratch and that seems a little bit odd at this point in time. As everyone else is electrifying their entire fleet, Mazda developed a brand new diesel engine from scratch. It's exciting times because Mazda's gamble is going to be a big gamble. It's going to be a long term gamble too because if they don't get it right it's going to be hard to electrify this car afterwards. But I actually think they've got a massive point here country and the world is not quite ready to be able to electrify the entire fleet that fast and Mazda are gambling that people will still want a diesel, a large petrol and a PHEV alternative, particularly the 2.5 litre petrol. But we will, in Ireland, get all three engines available on the market from the start. So Mazda have taken the unbelievable step of making a 3.3 litre diesel hybrid as well. So it's going to be a mild hybrid engine. I think that's very risky, but actually very clever because they can continue to offer all of the cars in electric, mild hybrid, PHEV. They can do it throughout. And there's more of that information coming as well. So they'll have five new cars, all electric, three new electric cars by 2030. And there's just all kinds of stuff happening. But one thing that has changed, and I'm going to close the door for you, is the interior of this car. This is where it really stands head and shoulders above it. And they're, they're using a thing called Takumi, which means is a Japanese word for craftsman. So the idea is that everything is crafted in here. Even this little stitching that's along here is handcrafted, it had to be done to an industrial level. This is a cloth type interior. They have maple wood in here. This is all adaptable. You can change it around too. There's plastics and stuff here that have different reflections on them. Even the little reflection in the seat, the little black line down the center seat is not black. It's got multiple colors in it too. 
It's possibly one of the finest interiors Mazda's ever made, possibly one of the finest interiors that's on the market today. They've gone away from all those kind of flashy lights like Mercedes have been doing, uh, BMW are doing too, these kind of floor lights and LED things around the edges of it. They, they want to harmonize the whole lot and make it feel like you're doing something that's just classic, elegant, and gets on with the job. So at nighttime, this is quite a dark interior, a quite uh, a gentle interior to drive along in. And that's what they're aiming for. That's what Joost Stenewit, the, the chief designer for Mazda, we interviewed him last year on Zoom call. I think it was last year during the pandemic. Uh, we interviewed him so you can check out that, that Zoom call right here. It's a long interview with, with uh, your Stenewit, the chief designer here. And I talked to him again today. So it's an amazing interior that they've done again. And this really does elevate Mazda right up there with the luxury brands. So it's time for a little bit of a boot talk, as we do here every once in a while. Plus, this boot is huge, but besides a huge boot, let's just talk for a second about electrification and what Mazda's trying to do here. Really, everybody's on the BEV route at some point in the future, but right now what Mazda's willing to do is offer all of the engines. So they've developed a 2.5 litre, that's a standard turbo four-cylinder engine. They've also got a three litre petrol on the way, which is going to be six cylinders. They maintain that a 500cc cylinder has the best thermal efficiency, which means you put six of them in line and you get a three litre petrol. Then there's a 3.3 litre diesel, which is a brand new engine from the ground up. And that changes everything, if you think about that for a second, where everybody else is trying to electrify and get rid of the diesel engines, Mazda's willing to keep on going. And they are going to offer these internal combustion engines after 2030. So that's not going to go away. Mazda's betting on the future of being whatever kind of car you want to have in whatever fuel you like. They have already got the MX-30 and they are going to electrify the CX. X80 and the CX60 here would be semi electric, being a PHEV from launch. All those engines will be available in Ireland. I think it's a good bet for the future because I actually think that not everyone wants a BEV in the first place. Not everyone can afford them, they're very expensive, and rare art materials and things that have been pulled out of the ground for them. We need to worry about wheel to well and the CO2 emissions that are coming off these kind of things. We need to worry about the CO2 emissions from all of them, which is why Mazda's going for, a, by 2030, they're looking to get a carbon neutral and have carbon neutral from wheel to well, which is a big ask for any car company, even if some of them are, are touting about it right now. Mazda has a lot of work to do. There'll be a new Mazda 2 coming as well, which will be a conjunction car with Toyota. The rest of the cars are coming direct out of Mazda. This car is a Mazda designed car from the ground up, and it's gotta be an exciting future. There's more of this kind of thing to come. Some other really interesting features as well is Mazda bringing about facial recognition, which sets the car up just for you when you get in, recognizing your face from a little screen behind the steering wheel. But not just your face, up to six faces can be recognized and stored by the car while you are ready to drive. So it sets all your favorite radio stations and does everything else inside the car too. The new car is quite long too. So four, seven, four, five millimeters long. So that's nearly five meters long for a car. And there's the CX-80 on the way, which I'm assured is going to be a seven seat version of this car. The CX-60 will actually hit your showrooms later on this year, or at least be available to purchase for the 2023 market. We'll be driving this car later on in the year uh, for the first drive. There's actually two first drives coming up first, and I'm hoping to put to test the eight-speed automatic transmission that hasn't got a torque converter built in. They decided to do away with all that to uh, decrease the weight of the car. There's all kinds of cool stuff going on within Mazda. It's really exciting time for Mazda into the future and I'm really delighted to be a part of that. So Mazda have an exciting future. What they've announced today with the start of this model is going to be translated into stuff that they're doing for the next 20 years. They're already talking about what designs are coming next. We're getting a sneak preview of what's here right now. If you like that kind of thing, you need to hit the subscribe button because the more subscribers I get, the more chance I have of doing this kind of thing. For the next few years, what Mazda's really trying to do is change the game again. So they really want to up their game into a different market. They're after the luxury market now and they're telling you they've nailed it with this car but they also want to change the game with the internal combustion engine the BEV offering the mild hybrids the PHEVs they're really trying to offer something for absolutely everybody it's definitely worth your time to check this out we'll be back in a few weeks time for a drive of this car when it finally reaches uh, production levels and then of course it'll be in showrooms by the end of this year and available for 2023 we don't have prices yet but i will try to get them for you thank you very much for watching this video i hope if you like it you'll share it and you'll subscribe for more of these kind of videos uh, look after yourselves because you know we're, we're changing all the time
time we were traveling more now, which is absolutely brilliant to be maskless and walking around the place. So look after yourselves, and until the next time, I will see you on the far side.